Hi you guys, welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker and today we're going to be discussing the next yarn that I think is worth it. That would be Karen Cakes. So unfortunately this is one with wool content. Not that other yarns in their line are all wool content. These are the skinny cakes. They're 100% acrylic and I don't think I have, oh cotton cakes, 100%. But this is just the classic standard cake. That's a Karen cake. If you see down here, to my, everything except for that hot pink is Karen cakes. I have quite a few Karen cakes. I love Karen cakes. I actually have some Karen cakes upstairs. <clears throat> Goodness gracious. If you remember me filming in this outfit, because I don't know when this is going to go up. We're in the middle of the height of pollen season and I'm off my allergy meds and I just went to go check my mail a few minutes ago and got an entire mouthful of pollen. <coughs> so I apologize. This is 80% acrylic, 20% wool, 200 gram cakes of yarn. These are a number four worsted weight or chunk, uh, maybe Aaron weight. It's a little on the poofy end. But... I adore these. They're $7.99 at Michael's regular price. <clears throat> Y'all, let's say if water helps a little bit more, coffee does. <clears throat> Not really. I'm all tried up. Power through this as fast as I can. So I love this in particularly for shawls, but it seems to hold up really well in just about everything. This would be fine for making sweaters. This would be fine for making shawls, hats, scarves. It is a little woolly around the neck, but not... It, if you're one of those people that have uh, moist skin, not oily skin, but like you, you perspire a little bit, <clears throat> this might get a little itchy on your skin. But if you have a drier skin or don't live in a humid climate, this shouldn't be itchy on your skin. Like I said, it is 80% acrylic, so it's not a super high wool content. Just like the woolies, it's a lower wool content, but it's just enough to make anything you make with this a little bit more breathable, but still be warm and snuggly. So I have done 80 bajillion shawls out of this over the years, and I will include a picture somewhere, hopefully of the shawl I wear the most that was made with blueberry kiwi or, oh, I don't remember the name. I've worn it a couple of times here on the channel though. Um, but I would share a picture of that, that uh, step scarf. I love it. I wear it quite frequently around town. It's a nice, easy thing to just throw on and be cute. And it adds a little pop of color to your outfit. Um, I'm a huge fan of cake yarns in general. I love the self-striping yarn. A lot of times I don't bother color, color controlling it, uh, especially if you're doing like a moss stitch or in knitting or a lemon peel stitch in crochet. Those changes actually kind of hide in your work quite a bit. So like the texture stitches will actually hide those row changes as long as you have enough to do, you know, a couple of rows in the new color. But I love the different colors that this comes in. It comes in some beautiful brights. It comes in some beautiful pastels. It comes into some more richer colors. They're, they have some beautiful, like autumnal, rich, warm tones. They have a really nice collection. Plus they have the seasonal collection apparently starting in 2020, which was the layer cakes which was like that season's cake. So like they have the the regular carrying cakes that are worsted weight. And a, a lot of these colors, you know, they've just kept out now. I know like the purple ones sell out. The one that always reminds me of Peacocks and is similar to the Blueberry Kiwi, but not quite. That one is one of the permanent ones. I think um, it's not Turkish Delight, but it's got to name something like that like rose, tea rose cake or something. I was something, yeah. Um, but that one is now like part of the permanent collection. And then they had a whole collection that came out with the winter stuff. 
that were similar to the winter skinny cakes that came out. So these are the ones I bought on clearance out of the skinny cake collection. But you can see, I think it's on here too. No, they didn't put it on here. A couple of them had layers on them and it was like layer cakes and then something else layers. But it, on the front, it just said like the normal, what they were. Anyway, I've got a couple of the layer cakes too upstairs, but I did find a few of those on clearance. Except for my shoulder nice. But this blocks really nicely. Uh, you can, so I have steam blocked this because it is 80% acrylic and just plan on hand washing those items. That way I'm not putting them through the dryer and re-steaming them out of shape. <clears throat> it does take to steam blocking very nicely. The wool is very soft. It's got a nice fluffy whipped texture. It reminds me of a uh, fabric now. My mom used to call it whipped cream fabric and now I can't remember the name of it and I just had it in the top of my head but it's a very lofty light texture like it looks like it would be heavy but it's a very squishy open ply and it's got a nice stretch to it. It's got a nice bounce to it. So it, it, it just, and it lays nicely. It drapes nicely. If you do something textured where you're not planning on blocking it, it's just going to be a little bit smaller maybe or something. Like it, it doesn't get heavy and chunky when you knit it or crochet it. It just maintains a really nice texture. So I definitely think that's one that's worth it, especially if you can handle the wool content. As I've said before, though, I am a huge fan of blends, especially for garments or the things you're going to be wearing in the sweatier parts of your body. Uh, you know, I really do. I mean, I have nothing against acrylic. I love my 100% acrylic yarns, but I do really think adding just that touch of cotton, a touch of wool, something like that makes for more breathable items. That way you don't get sticky inside your clothes. So I am a huge fan of the blends. I do really love the blend blended fiber content yarns. And this is one where it's just great. It works for everything. And, you know, like they've got a scarf there where they've just let the striping show. I've seen a couple of people. Oh, that's very similar to the pattern I did do. It is the pattern I did. Well, that's the pattern I did. Is the stepping up shawl. Now, granted, these are, I don't think these have the years on them. Well, this is Turkish Delight. I was right. There is a Turkish Delight. Um, there's another one, though, that's like a warmer version of this. is like cool tone winter colors. It's a warmer tones than this. <clears throat> these don't have the years that they were made, do they? No, this is 2017. So, like, this is the 2017 season. This is also 2017. This is Rainbow Shibit. But, you know, just letting the striping do the work and that way, I mean, it, you get impact. I love projects where I can just let the, the yarn do the work. I don't, um, I try to pick for things like this. I do try to pick like more simple patterns. That way the striping and the colors or really what's popping. But I've seen where people have done some beautiful, like, like the Navajo, um, what is it? Navajo tears pattern, blanket pattern. And these self-striping yarns and particularly the Karen cakes and gotten really, really good results with it. I've also seen, oh, I did a blanket out of Karen cakes. Hold on just a second. Let me go grab that. Okay, so this isn't fancy like using like the Navajo Tears or like Glorious Granny or anything like that where you're going to get, you know, the overlapping colors with just using the self-striping yarn. But this is using one of my favorite techniques for quick projects. And that is holding two cake yarns together and doing the lemon peel stitch. <laughs> so this is how that turned out. And I still use the two yarns together to do the border. Because you get these very fast 
color changes with it, but it's a heathered effect and it, it never looks jarring. But yeah, this is, I made this maybe two years ago. It's got some, some, uh, love wear. It's a little, well, fuzzier than when I first started, but then it's got a couple cat nail, cat claw picks on it. But it's just, it's a nice weight for a blanket. It is a little bit denser because it is two worsted weight strands held together, but it's held up really nicely. It's been washed probably four times now. I do normally have this put away when it's not fall. This is my, my harvest blanket. So I normally pull this out onto our living room sofa. Oh, man, cats. But uh, I normally pull this out onto our sofa during the fall season. So it's just festive. It's festive. I have a, a green with a little hint of red uh, blanket that I use for Christmas season as well. But yeah, I mean, it, it's good for blankets. I like it for shawls. I like it for scarves. I like it for hats. It's just generally a good yarn to have on hand. It seems to wash up well. It seems to hold up well. It takes to steam blocking or dry blocking fairly well. So, or wet blocking, not dry blocking. Dry blocking. Worms. Anyway, so that is the next yarn that I think is worth it. And you can find it on sale fairly frequently. Um, any, you know, between like the 20% off regular price items or the 50% uh, off clearances. I know like everything from that was the winter seasonal line went on sale 50% off. <clears throat> Same thing with last year's cotton cakes and you know, did the 50% off. But yeah, I, I've really enjoyed working with this since it came out. I like the colors it comes in. Karen's done a really good job with keeping the colors interesting, offering something that matches everybody's taste. I mean, like I said, I was just saying, like, they've got some really rich, warm colors. That blanket's a prime example of their, like, more wintry fall color palette offerings as well, not just the... You know, browns and purple kind of things. So, what have you guys made with Karen Cakes? What do you think of them? Have you done, have you had any problems with them? Have you thoughts, feelings, opinions? I mean, I enjoy seeing what you guys think as well. And I know that, like, if you go through and look at the comment section, a lot of my videos, you guys are interacting with each other's input as well. So, Definitely check out down below and see what each other is saying and uh, share. I, I enjoy it. So you guys take care. I love you and I will see you guys real soon. Bye guys.